yeah, start casting, stop talking stuff. And we get Mukla Druid versus Hell yeah, versus the Warrior. I love those burn decks. You love those burn decks. You like see, Esosek is my favorite player. Let's well, see if Kunsi might actually become my new favorite player because Esosek wasn't playing with the Mukla. Uh, yeah, he didn't have Mukla, or we have we have never seen it, and that's just great. Innervate Mukla, five five turn one crazy mode, like just with an Innervate. But as we see for the Ud, just won't well execute. So great follow up play for him to just diminish that I'm screwed by Mukla play. Yep. And I like that he kept it actually in the starting hand. I'm always a fan of keeping one execute against a Druid. That he has a whirlwind well additionally is just great. And he also runs an Arcanine Reaper. Yeah, Arcanite Reaper is a must in my opinion. Like one Arcanite Reaper, but one Gorhal, or even two Arcanite Reapers sometimes by players. Uh, Armor Smith with Bananas. So a Bananas Armor Smith is just crazy. We'll get silenced though, but he can still banana it up again. Yeah, so it should be a 2 5 again, but only with, without the effect. Yeah, well, the effect is okay. It's just the best thing about the Armor Smith, but having a 2 5 minion, yeah, nice. Also, the Brawl in hand, and additionally, getting a Battle Rage. <laughs> when is the last warrior. time you have seen a Battle Rage? Uh, it's been a long time. I mean, it's cool. He can draw two cards now if he damages his minion somehow. So that's going to be great. If he plays another minion, uh, he can just draw a great amount of cards. I mean, two is already great. Dealing some damage. And what is Quincy going to do? How is he going to kill that 2-5 minion? Is he really going to swipe? Would you swipe? Would you <sighs> silence now again? No. Losing both of your silences early you, you on. You can't just. No, you need the silence for the acolyte. Well, actually, you don't want to silence an acolyte with that deck. <laughs> you could savage roar also. Mm -hmm. oh, that would be pain. Well, we'd be pain, but the board would be cleared. So this, like, hmm, maybe it's better. I want to have back the old battle rage. The really old battle rage drew cards for every damage character, back in the days. No, it wasn't wasn't the first version. It was a version for, uh, I don't know, a couple of weeks. No, no, B Battle Rage is like, it was nerfed uh, ages ago. Yeah, I know. And that but was at, at the beginning, it wasn't every damaged character, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's only friendly at the moment, but at the beginning, it was every. I know, I know. Like, really, at the beginning, like, beginning, super, beginning. Super, super beginning. Yeah. I was like one of the first thousand people that played. Yeah, so it's a super, super beginning. You should remember that, Kai. No, I was only playing Rogue. <laughs> yeah, so Miracle Rogue and better confirm. <laughs> no, I wasn't playing Miracle Rogue, just normal Arena Rogue. And Druid. Don't lie to me. Yeah, I, I, trust me. I'm there, surprised. There should be VODs where I play against Trump. I'm surprised he actually hit the phase. I would have kept against the Druid my weapon. Even if I'm playing some kind of rush here with uh, the Morgan Infiltrator. Uh, the Morgan Infiltrator. With, with uh, la. How is it called call again? I haven't seen that minion in ages. Just with the Worgen. Uh, uh, raging Worgen? Yeah, the Raging Worgen. Now I got it. Crazy. Damn it, brain. Uh, now he... Well, he would have had two swipes still with his Arcanite Reaper if he didn't go for the face. And with his hand, I would I would have never gone for the hit. Yeah, now if he wants to get rid of the Yeti, he either attacks or he whirlwinds executes. But that's like... Uh, he the wants to rush, but it's not really working out. I mean, it's okay to rush, but not if you don't have the follow-up. So keep your play your Arcanite Reaper. That's it. You see a minion, kill oh, it. Maybe it would have been smarter to keep the weapon. Or or go for the face. Because he has the Raging Morgan charge combo with Whirlwind. So that's so much damage. Yeah. But it's not going to be the GG win insta. Nope. Oh, there's a there's a miracle. There's a miracle. Miracle warrior. Miracle warrior. Well, you can draw two cards, but we'll lose and execute. Uh. It's just wait another turn and then go for it. Like, we're going to see no minion. Well, after we saw no minion, I would actually go for it. Like now, what? Nothing happened. Uh, auctioneer will win execute. <laughs> just, or auctioneer execute, actually. That should be enough. Okay, what's that? Loot order? Hmm. Hmm. Well, if you play the Auctioneer, Loot Order, Execute. Yeah, I like the Auctioneer, Loot Order, Execute. They, and they It's just going to be a swipe. Yeah, but you draw two cards. Maybe you're getting the second Worgen. 
the inner rage, just what you need exactly to do your crazy. Well, he would need a warg and a charge, and then he could finish the game immediately. Yeah, so why is he not drawing it? That would be great. <laughs> I would yeah, silence why? here too. Why aren't you drawing it? Definitely silence, draw a card, and go for the face. Both players aren't having the perfect draw here at the moment. Not even close to having the perfect draw. Yeah, not even close to having a good draw. I mean, the silences were really useful in the beginning against the armor smith. And he has all the means to clear just minions right off the board, like with the swipes, with the wrath, and everything. In a rage, so he has a Morgan charge in a rage if he wants to. Wow. How, How much? It was plus three damage from the charge, correct? Or I think it was two, it was two, two three. Is it 16? Is, is it? I don't know if it's three it, it, or Yeah, if it's three, he two. could deal 16 damage. No, if it's two, 16 damage. It's three from the wagon. And you're forgetting that the the uh, inner rage is giving buff two. Yeah. Two from the inner rage, two from the charge, one from the wagon. Is it one? Yeah, it should be one. Damn it. We, ha we haven't seen those cards for a long, long time. Shield block is just super great. He draws one card and yep. he draws two cards more, even the weapon. So he has his auctioneer out, slam. This seems to be just a control warrior with one turn kill combo. I like that one a lot. I'm a big fan. Can it work for the Ud? I mean, with Quincy's draw, it could actually work out. Okay, what are we going to see? I want him to just nuke out that war again. Like, don't don't think about it. Just do it. That wouldn't make sense. And the main problem is, as soon as you do it, he knows that you're just waiting to do this move. Yeah, and then he might actually use Nation of Lore. Oh, second Inner oh. Rage. Second. Exactly what you need. I mean, we could just equip the weapon and start smashing the face for yeah, a bit. Yeah, he has to. I mean, he, he does 3-6 damage now. It's a race. How many turns does he have? Well, if there is a Force of Nature draw... It's over. Yeah, it's over. It's just GG, pew, pew. You get wrecked. You would If there's a Force of Nature draw, you would actually survive. Nope. You now he wouldn't survive. Yes, he would. Yeah, now he would survive. That's yeah. actually what with, he needed to do. With the armor, he could have survived anyways. 20... Doo, 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 doo. So we got, we got no Force of Nature... Then they don't even need to think about it. There's a Yeti additionally, so Force of Nature Roar would wreck the board at the moment. We got the Warg in. You're gonna Google now how much damage plus charge does? No. Okay. We got the. Oh, there's a Acolyte of Pain. So Acolyte of Pain, War 1 card draw. That's possible. Hmm. So what are we going to do now? You could Acolyte, Whirlwind, Brawl, for example. If you want to clear the board, be super safe. Yeah, I think he wants cards. Yeah, Acolyte. And he needs options. Acolyte, Whirlwind, Brawl. like that one a lot. And you can kill the... Minion first, whirlwind, get a card, get rid of everything on the board, like everything. Oh, Grimash even. Well, now, now in that theory. Was, that was really weird. I'm surprised he didn't just nuke out his uh, worgen now. Exactly. Uh, after, after he actually saw that he got Grimash. Oh, it gives two attack. Now we know it. Yeah, he clears the board completely. He do, he do, he wants to stay alive. He could have nuked out his Vorgan. Just go for the play for 16 damage. And then next turn, follow up with Grimash. Running out of time. I don't see the Ud winning this. You don't see the Ud winning this. I, he still has every option to win this game. I mean, he can clear the board. He can armor up. He just has more card draw in hand. Even armor up. So it's actually looking great for him. I mean, just kill the 2-3, armor up, drop your Acolyte of Pain, your armor smith, be happy. He cannot win with a Force of Nature Roar. You've got your Grimash in hand. I think it ain't looking bad for the dude. As long as Kunzi is not having any better draws, that's just great. Taking so much damage. 
that yeah, was 16, you... Force of Nature, Roar is 14. It should be still one swipe. And he has double Savage War, okay. So if he draws into an Innovate... Hey, he needs the Force of Nature first to go for the double Roar. And we know the Ood has still one Shield Block. Oh, or... Question. Do you want him to overdraw like crazy? He could could make him draw six <laughs> cards now. Yeah, you could just ras his minion, attack his minion, and then naturalize both minions. I know. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it would work out as good as he wanted to. Like, rather kill the right minion than give him the crazy draw. I mean, in this situation, giving him six cards, I think that hurts you more than it uses uh, you. It would, it would burn too. Yeah. And that's the why... The question is, he has seven cards, so... If you then manage to survive. Yeah, but you're having only crap on the board at the moment. He can still do it and do like instant fatigue if he goes for the double naturalize. Especially if we see from the Ood the slam on his own minion now. Which would be possible. I mean, that's two cards to draw. I would definitely slam it. And see what you get. Maybe he, could, get your... he could also go for Gromash Slam, but he wants to armor up every single turn. Yeah, absolutely. He'd rather go for the Gromash in a Rage combo. Hmm. I would just slam my Acolyte in this situation. I think he has a second charge in deck. So... I mean, he saw the Mukla, so he could maybe expect, like, even Cold Light Oracles and the Naturalize, he will expect 100%. So he should take care how many cards he draws. Oh, I'm... wow. He didn't in a Rage. And that's a great misplay, I would say. Why? Naturalize. Lose your Grimash Insta. I mean, you're not counting with a Naturalize, but he just needs a swipe to the left. I'm pretty sure he's counting with a Naturalize. After he saw the Mukla, I would count with a Naturalize 100%. Oh, is he going to just attack it, take 4 damage? Well, that's a possibility also. And he just wasted 8 damage. He could have done 8 damage more with the Inner Rage or with a Slam. There's just 10 damage more. And I think that... Dealt. Four damage more, right? No, five. No, eight in total if he... Well, he, he dealt four and took four with the auto-attack. Well, yeah. auto-attack with the Eurobill. So four, four damage more was possible. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, he even has an Alexstrasza in hand. How much damage would that be with double Savage Roar? That would be plus 12, 16, 24. At 24, it would work out in this situation. If both minions stay alive with double Roar, he would win the game, correct? 8 plus 12. Yep. Yeah. 8 plus 12. Why is 8 plus no. 12 24? I have no idea. Yeah. That's, no like, that's like, that's like, that makes no sense. What am I talking about? Why don't you shoot me? Sounds like a plan. Because I don't have a gun. Because you don't have a gun. Oh, that's an obvious answer. <laughs> now we're going to see Naturalize. Yep. How many cards has you left? It should be 3 or something. Draw two cards. That's like Not one. Too many. And where's oh. where, where's is he not playing anything? That would be great. Well, the the last card should be another charge, right? Yeah, they're definitely gonna run two charge, and then he wins. There should be another charge. Oh, uh, well, now that, he, he won't be able to play the charge now. I think that was a misplay. Oh, what, what else should he do? He has one card left, so that that's okay. You can drop one Raging Morgan if you want now. I wouldn't... Don't give him options to naturalize and go for the raw combo. Okay. We can just go ASAP for it. I mean, that's going to be, as you said, that's 16 damage now. And oh, that's enough to win, Kai. What are you talking about? Oh, it is 16. Yeah. Never mind. Then. Like the heat, the heat is really making our brains slow. This game was just ridiculous. He won. Yeah, great for the Ud. And you were like, the Ud is not going to win this. Get no. yourself together. Yeah, you knew, but he never said <laughs> lethal. We get Kunzi as a control warrior versus the Ud's control warrior now. Already starting with double execute, crew taskmaster, big game hunter. I like the big game hunter especially there. Always useful. So what what is what are we going to see in this game? Warrior Mirror. Now, is he playing something similar or just good old Control Warrior? It's gonna be Control Warrior. Yeah, I think uh, let's so. Let's be honest, we haven't seen the charge, charge deck at all, so I don't expect him to play it. Nah, I agree with there. And I don't know what the last card was actually for the Was it a second Arcanite Reaper? 
Okay, so it starting could, starting could great. Be a second, yep. Starting great already with the armor smith, followed up by the acolyte of pain. So that's actually a great board. If there is no fiery war axe for either of them, that's a super good for the Uda at the moment. Oh, painful. Yeah, how how do you want to counter this? You could play your own acolyte of pain, which is absolutely okay in this situation. Yep. I mean, why not? I mean, that gives your enemy card draw, but you yourself give it, getting card draw too. I think that's okay. Coining the Gnomish is, has the advantage. You could Taskmaster your Gnomish to trade. Or you just play your Kokoron and you're happy. He needs to war win now. Absolutely. Get the armor, get the cards. You could also think about charging it. But that would be like, what? No, he's not going to charge. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah, I'm too. Okay, so we got an armor smith and an acolyte of Fain out. I'm a bit surprised that Kunzi actually went okay, for, never mind. for Warrior as a counter. It. Yeah, he's going to charge and trade. And he's going to keep his minion, which is the greatest thing about this. So you give him plus two and charge, you trade, you get armor, and what is he going to do now if he wants to kill bows? I think that's weird. That's weird what he did, or... Yep. Well, that's going to die. I mean, a control warrior versus control warrior, you don't need to be so fast. You well, got your Alex Traza, you can bring him down to 15, and then you only need one more Worgen to go for Worgen, charge, blah, blah, kill. I mean, he can also win old school, just with Grimash and Arcanite Reaper, smash the face, 15 mm. damage. There's no need to actually go for... The Super Worgen combo? Yeah. It works, but it works like... I don't know. Two out of five games, four out of ten, something like that. Not working so often. I mean, he has six armor. It's looking <laughs> okay for him. Uh, uh, using shield block without shield slam. Well, he wants to get options. I think he, if he goes well, he for has something, a, he has a cook run. Yeah, I wouldn't use a cook run. Uh, in case he gets some, like you don't have an execute trigger except your weapon at the moment. So I would actually not go for it. Rather go for your uh, Acolyte of Pain, get more options. Gonna slam, get a card, and then armor up, I think. Or like uh, shield block, or just plainly armor up. He needs options too. Wow, he goes for the whirlwind. Interesting. Well, it's okay, you just avoid damage. And as you say, there's like annoying damage on the board. And you don't want to drop low. I mean... You can take some damage, I think. No, Sylvanas. Because Sylvan you know there's going to be the Alex play. So yeah, might as well just tank some before you use all your triggers for the Worgen and for the Grimash, for the Execute. I think the advantage for Kunzi is he has more minions in his whole deck. I mean, he has the Azudrex too. He has Sylvanas. Uh, he might have... He has Alex Straza, Ragnaros, everything too. So... His minions have some more value, and the minions the Ud is putting out. Well, he has two Vorgan infantry, uh, uh, raging Vorgans in, which won't be played in any situation before something happens. Face time. The Ud going ham. Yeah, burning armor going ham. Going ham is not including burning armor for me. Well, wow, that's hurt so much. If Kunzi draws a whirlwind, that's just going to be crazy. And I'm super surprised again that he's actually hitting the face. I mean, he could go for his brawl next turn too and kill what is left over, for example. Not gonna play the Zul. Ooh, Armorsmith maybe? If he plays Armorsmith, I would instant brawl. You don't want to risk him getting more and more armor. Yeah, that's a brawl. Okay. Is that a brawl? He could, uh, he could just, he, <clears throat> he could smash the face, which I wouldn't do, since, nah, I, w I would never smash the face in this situation. Just brawl, that's a great brawl, and the problem is if you hit the face now, and then next turn play Alexstrasza, your face hit was completely uh, wasted. He, he can't hit the face and then play Alex. No. Nope. I guess to keep it. Yeah, absolutely. And hope that he wins, because he can hit the face, go for the Alex damage, then... 
use the Preview War X and it only needs one more damage. Oh, Isara for Kunsi. So he's going for the really wow. late gamey version. I think I would go for the Alexstrasza. I like really? that one a lot. I, I, I would go for Sylvanas now. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking the Ud mode at the moment. Okay. I like the Ragnaros a lot. You're delaying his Alexstrasza with this. I mean, yeah, he could pull his Alexstrasza now. But do you really want to pull Alexstrasza now against uh, Ragnaros? Do you really want to do it? You could be dead next turn to Grimash, Whirlwind, Ragnaros hit, weapon attack. If you don't armor up. And you cannot if you Alexstrasza. I think it's a gamble, but I would take it. You take it, just go super risky, go for the Alexstrasza. Yep, Alexstrasza hit the face. Hmm. Uh, he cannot kill it, which is a bit sad. So he can shield, block, armor up, and then what he's not he? having... Oh, did he just get a, a shield block into a shield block? No, shield block into slam, into execute. That was great. Absolutely great to get. The most annoying thing is, well, there is going to be that one Isera, and then you're actually not having anything to kill her. Don't go. Don't go for the face. That would be not cool. That would be a big mistake. Thing is, did Kunzi play both of Uh, Wow. I think he hasn't played one. If I'm not mistaken. Single one? Not a single one. That's going to be Izera. And the great thing for Kunzi is he has Grimash in hand. No trigger at the moment. Yeah, he needs to Alexstrasza now and hope to draw a trigger for Grimash. Like a Taskmaster. I mean, he has he has a shield slam, but that's not going to work out uh, anymore. He has no armor. Yeah. Yeah, just Alexstrasza. And how much damage is there for... Kunzi at the moment. So Kunzi can get rid of Alex if he wants to. Oh, he kills the small one. <laughs> Goes to the face. Down to 12. So Wizard, Taskmaster, follow up, top deck. He could actually kill him if there is no armor up from Kunzi. Well, I think it's gonna be. I would. Hmm. Yes. He could call Crown Elite, Taskmaster, Armor Up, Shield Slam, for example. That's quite a lot of cards. No. You, you don't want to play your Izara Awakens. You're going to take 5 damage. You could play 3 of your minions. I mean, I was considering... You uh, can't does just, he have armor? No. You can just uh, Taskmaster execute it. Be happy. No, play... Uh, that's not working out either. You just Taskmaster execute. Armor Up. Be happy, be on 14. 14 should save your life. Well, I think you could also play your Sylvanas, Taskmaster. No, the execute is only working on yeah. opponent minions. Damn it, I'm always do you, doing the same mistake. Yeah, you wanted well, to be so smart. No, you wanted to do Nunia. the Atosis again. I got recently. Got stupid. Yeah, I got recently flamed on stream why I didn't execute my <laughs> Sylvanas. So there are some other people out there too that don't know that it's actually possible to not execute your Sylvanas. Oh, he's gonna trade. Okay. Yeah, he's he, the great thing about this move is, armor. yeah, he gets the most armor possible. The only way the Ute could win next turn now would be fiery war axe. No, not even at seventeen. Even if he gets a fiery war axe into in our rage, that would only be fifteen damage. Okay, what we got? Uh, auctioneer. Execute. I think you, you played it uh, perfectly here, like getting so much armor. Because he saw that there's the yeah. inner rage potential and armor up. Yeah. Execute, get enough. a card. Uh, oh, that's great. He can weapon up, sh uh, shield slam the right one if he wants, and kill the left one. Just draw the most amount of cards possible. And yeah, still don't get anything to trigger your Grimash. He has two weapons. I think I would play the weapon now and kill the armor smith. Yeah, weapon kill the armor smith. Just be good with it. Is there an echo, Timo? Echo? It sounds like an echo. No, there shouldn't be. There should Ch be. Chat would tell us. Chat would tell us. Okay, that's correct. Chat would tell us if we have an echo. Enough hints now. <laughs> uh, we got 19 
HP at the moment for Quincy. Is he going to steal that? Nah, I, I, he, he's not going to steal the auctioneer. It was like, yeah, he could shield slam his own Sylvanas, but why should he? That makes literally no sense. Okay, loot hoarder, and oh, there's one worgen. Yeah, but no trigger. Yeah, no trigger. That hurts. I would loot hoarder, smash the face, weapon up. Yeah, exactly what you can do. Oh, you could also charge up your loot hoarder, but that's only no, going no, no, no. to be, that's not going to be five damage, so that sucks a lot. Uh, yeah, hit the face, weapon up, loot order, armor up, and uh, pray to Iron Jesus for something cool. I mean, he's so close. He brings him down. To, he's on 21. He brings him down to 18, 17. Even if he drew it in our rage next turn, he would, would be one damage short of lethal. That hurts quite a lot. Yeah, go for the face. Oh, did, did I see that he actually went for the Grimash? That is so well, stupid no it ain't stupid it is no it's absolutely good I, Sarah awakening no if he draws it in, in our rage if he draws it in our rage he could actually wait can he attack Sarah awakens and FaceTime. yeah he's gonna win but you're not gonna, you're not counting with Sarah awakens well you should be when he drew two cards and didn't <laughs> play a single dream card well he could have gotten two times dream though well and one dream is already in his hand, or a nightmare, for example. I think it was playing for the win, as you say, often. Uh, if he gets the inner rage next turn, he would definitely win if there's no shield block. So that was okay. But that inner rage play, getting Grimash on his side and using Grimash to win the game, well played by Kunsi. And he got the Taskmaster, so he could have dealt the 16 damage next turn. No, couldn't. Because he had the mana to play big game hunter and versus the the second game and now we're gonna see zoo or handlock against the control warrior. Hmm. That's, that, that should be a should be a zoo. It should be a zoo. In it, my opinion, it depends hardly. I mean, you saw the Izera version, Izera being pretty late gamey, and I think Kunsi needs to keep the big game hunter. He already has a fiery war axe oh, and armor smith. Uh, look, look at the hand and the shield slam. Wow. Could it be more perfect now? I mean, the only annoying minion is a Twilight Drag. If he gets an execute additionally or a shield block, then that's just the perfect hand. Sunwalker even, because he's extra super slow control warrior. Yeah, but super slow control warrior pays out if you play against some rush combos. As Leroy, Shadow Stab Leroy, for example, or Raging War against. We got the Armor Smith early on. And now for the next turn, just Life Tab, Armor Up, Life Tab, Armor Up. Giant or Twilight Drake, Life Tab, Armor Up, Life Tab, Armor Up. Should start with a Twilight. I would start with a Twilight too in this matchup. And you don't want to give him the option to just throw at the big game hunter. I like the Crotas Master here. You can not only uh, get your armor, 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 you can also get like two aid. So for example, turn four, you could just uh, armor up again and then taskmaster your minion and you would have exactly eight damage. The only question is, is, is he gonna play his Twilight Drake and then Soulfire away the armor? That ain't an uncommon move. And it's actually sometimes really good. How, how strong that can it's be? It's the most obvious play in my opinion. Or well, he could just so fire away the armor smith since he's fearing the execute. Oh. I mean, he, he at the moment, how do you want to kill it? So you would need to crew taskmaster your minion, attack the, his face, and then shield slam. But that wouldn't be, would it? No, three. That wouldn't be enough. Yeah, that, that's exactly one off. That's what I wanted to say. You can shield block up two. And it, no, yeah, what, would, what then? That would be enough. Would be enough if you crew taskmaster now you bring her up to eight you get one yeah you go on six armor that's what yep. there you went exactly you get one armor for you pinging should go for the play one armor for attacking and the great thing is he still has a fiery war eggs and the second shield slam plus the big game hunter and i i'm still i still haven't played control warrior not, not long enough okay we got the we got the giant in his hand he can life type first the main problem is if he soul fired, he could have lost his giant. Yep, that can always happen. And that would have been worse. So we're gonna see the giant now, 
And I don't think he's going to soul fire after he actually saw this second shield slam. Like, okay, now I don't need to soul fire. And he doesn't even need a shield slam. He just has a big game hunter. And he has Savannah's plus a shield slam on his own Savannah's. Also a possibility. That's looking great for Kunzi at the moment. Super painful for the dude. Well, he has a Hellfire. He already has a Molten Giant in hand. So I would say that's actually okay. There's a Siphon Soul. It's going to be Hellfire Life Tap. How far life tap? Can he do that? Is, yeah. Isn't he one one card too much? It's like three, six, nine cards in his hand uh, with the hellfire ten. He cannot hellfire life he tap. Ten cards right now. Yeah, he, he was at ten cards with the hellfire. That hurts. Down to seventeen, so turn seven uh, could be a molten giant. Are you gonna drop a molten giant into this? Yeah. Well, that would be okay. He has no options. Well, we could just stall and wait and chillax, just Shadow Bolt here. Just be like, I don't care. Watch a Shadow Bolt. Yeah, for example, watch a Shadow Bolt. Life, Life tap. tap. Yeah, that is an option. Gets card, his giant gets cheaper and cheaper, uh, and keeps his uh, Siphon Soul. Well, you can't use the Siphon Soul. Nah, you right won't now. use the Siphon Soul here. But I think that play is better. You get more options in your hand. And Molten Giants always want to be your, like, 12 HP move. And the most annoying thing about your Molten Giant is you don't have a Taunter. So you're going to play Molten Giant and then what? Be happy? Yell? He has double Molten Giant now. That's great. Sunwalker or Sylvanas? Sunwalker. Sunwalker. I agree on that. I think it does just, just bait out the Siphon Soul. Yeah, it's pretty hard to kill. And with Siphon Soul, you heal up yourself. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Siphon Soul, Iron Beak Owl, or Life Tab? I was thinking about using Mortal Coil onto the Sunwalker, <laughs> silencing my Watcher. Attacking, attacking and, then... and then Mortal Coiling it away. Drawing another card to keep the Siphon Soul, because I know there are big threats coming at me. Yeah, I know what and you mean. And also, I wouldn't heal up, so... And make use of the mortal calls. And the heal up is annoying because I actually want to drop HP for the molten joints. Well, he still has some great options in hand. I mean, if there is a Ragnaros, for example, or Ragnaros hits phase, he could still go for the giant Shadow Flame, or Shadow Flame is Watcher's Soul Fire. There are some options to clear. He could have kept the Siphon Soul, though. And I agree with you, keeping the Siphon Soul is just a great thing to do. Would you play your Savannahs now to just make him trade his whole board in? I mean, if you... The, the funny thing is, he could he would play Savannahs, and then the play from the dude is just uh, attack with his Agent Watcher in, Mortal Coil Savannahs, Mortal Coil your own Iron Big Owl, get two cards. That would actually be great for the dude in the end. So, are we going to see this Savannah's? This is a bad turn for him. Okay. He's thinking about the shield slam, but... Wow, I don't... I don't really like it too much. That's for, yeah, that was like his last clearing option at the moment. Yeah, he has no executes for the Giants. That will be coming well, at him. He has a Ragnaros for the Giants. Which is 50-50. And an Izera, I think. It's, well, I'm not entirely sure. He can still drop the Savannah's into two Giants. And that's actually a big threat after you saw one Iron Big Owl. So I think it's okay. Okay, Leroy, oh. uh, one giant and Leroy. So that's a goodie. Especially Leroy Shadow Flame, always a goodie. And now he can just pop Ragnaros or Savannah's. I think Ragnaros is the correct choice. If there's another silence, you're kind of screwed. Yeah, well, then your minions is still 5 5. I mean, it's I okay. Can't, can't do anything. Against the giant. Is he going to shield block up first? Uh, before I shield block up, I would actually go for Izera or Ragnaros. I think Izera would be even okay. It's a 412 minion. You could get a nightmare or something. So, yeah, that, that would be actually okay. Okay, Molten Giant dies. Perfect played by Kunsi. Yeah, great. Uh, we got Leroy, Power Overwhelming Shadow Flame. He could also Leroy attack Shadow Flame double Mortal Coil if he wants to. He could heal himself up, power overwhelming Shadow Flame Mortal Coil. But before I do that, I would actually go for Leroy power overwhelming. Really? I 
Uh, yeah, you're missing out the damage. So you just gave away four damage if you actually go for just the power overwhelming on the healer. Or just heal yourself up twice. I mean, he has two earth on ring Farsias uh, and life tap pass. Don't care about Ragnaros. Now you cannot, you cannot. Don't care about Ragnaros. So Just he goes. Paul overwhelming. Shadow right. Flame, Mortal Coil. Interesting. I think it's okay. I know why he did it, because he wants to keep the Leroy Faceless combo, which is twelve damage, twenty if both Soul Fires come in. But it's kind of like, it's super risky. Yeah, and now we just see that one Isera, and he's not getting rid of it <laughs> until he's sister. drawing his Siphon Soul. There's the Laughing Sister. That ain't optimum, or that ain't perfect at all. Yeah, he cannot get rid of Isera. Mm, he would need to drop Life Tap, drop a Giant, and yeah, see what happens. And look at Kuzi's hand. Faces Manip on Isera. What? That's just gonna be two Isaras for twelve. That feels like that feels like molten giants. Not with eight attack, but with four and an extra effect. That's a goodie. He has seven damage on the board with a Leroy War when he would win the game. So that's that's like the Ud needs to taunt oh, up yeah. actually. You need to play your Watcher and taunt it up, else you might be dead next turn already. Watcher. Yeah, he has an ancient Watcher in hand. You, you don't see it because he already is no. hovering over to play it. There's the Ancient Watcher. There's the Argus. Yeah, Kutsi's just going to make more Izeras. An Izera farm. He's going to breed him <laughs> and make little Izera babies. Yeah, that laughing, That's a nightmare. Laughing Sister and Armor Smith drop everything. Great. Absolutely great. He's he get he's getting armor. He can trade here, and I would I would actually just drop the laughing sister. Okay, he wants to get more options. That's okay too. Okay, one card. That's a dream, and followed up by another dream. So there's a double dream we we're talking about, Mister. Uh, you have to count with Isara Awakens, Sylvanas combo. Well, still have to account for it. I mean, Absolutely, not, not like it matters for you <laughs> because he lost, but. Yeah, against double Isera, I always feel like this is going to be GG, sir. I always feel like conceding. No, not like conceding, just like uh, ripping my PC off the power <laughs> supply and throwing it out of the window, something like that. Oh, legit rage. Yeah, legit rage. Okay, he can go for a Leroy, power overwhelming, a Leroy Shadow Flame, a clear one Isera with a Mortal Coil. Yes. That's, that's a great thing. Can't even deal six damage to the face. I think that's like what he needs to do. Leroy. Land power overwhelming. Draw a Doesn't card. Uh, Shadow Flame again. <laughs> uh, I, I want to say Shadow Flame all the time. I'm just saying power overwhelming. So you, you kill the board. You give him a lot of armor, which is annoying. So you deal six damage. You give him five armor. That sucks. You at least kill one of those. And with a Shadow Flame, you can actually kill the second one. The only annoying thing is, do you want to lose... Uh, he he lost the Iron Beagle, so that's okay. And he has a Molten Giant and Twilight Dragon Hand. That turned out to be perfect. You have to admit. Perfect. Definitely. I mean, Kunzi's board is still great. <laughs> it's so much stronger. And the funny thing is he can Wait, go... He, he could go Corcoran. Dream, Dream Corcoran, Corcoran. Dream. Corcoran. And then that, that not another Corcoran, since Dream is not a Shadow Step. I'm sorry to disappoint you. That was one Cochran too much. But oh, still, yeah, exactly. God damn it. There's seven damage on the board. Eleven with a Cochran and with a Dream Cochran. That's actually 15 damage on the board now. Coming next turn. Coming if the Ud ain't taunting up. So, the main problem is he you. cannot play the things he wants to. You want to play Molten, Twilight, Taunt. You want to play Urzen Ring, Twilight, Taunt. Or Twilight, Urzen Ring, Taunt. Not possible. Life taps into a giant, and now he can just play his Twilight Taunt if he wants to stay 100% alive. And that's great. I want to stay alive because of the dream. Yeah. Still sad? <laughs> just said it's great. Yeah, for him, I mean, great <laughs> board. He, he did everything correct. Yeah, he he taunted his minion out, and just the Izera cards are so annoying. Just like. 
Free in the world. Be happy about it. Have your Kokron. Get more than lethal. And we can get the Gore Howl. He could just Gore Howl down the minion and go for the face. Chillax. What? Hey, if he's not, if he doesn't want to use <laughs> his dreams. I mean, be serious. You don't want to waste your dreams so early on in this game. Those are just tools for me to destroy my opponent. Uh, you, you're going to waste your dreams? Yep. On the field of battle? Yes. Man, you're Th cruel. That's, that's where dreams die. Okay, now he's going to win the game. Oh, he's still not going for it? Yeah, is it still lethal? Yeah, it's still lethal. So even if he BM some hardcore, uh, he cleared the minion. He, doesn't need, he didn't need to. Oh. Didn't he dream? You can't dream your own minions. I'm entirely sure. Of course. I was like, I was for a second. Can you dream your own minions? Yes, you can. You can, you can obviously dream your own minions. I'm surprised Kunzi didn't do it. And he BMs him, I think. That's obvious. He's just going for the maximum BM here. I mean, look at his smile. Yeah. Means vicious. Mean boy there. Absolutely. Can, can the Ute survive in any way? So he life taps into... A taunter. He life taps into a sun fear protector. And then and one then dream. And then one minion oh, gets streamed. No. One minion gets killed. Well, if he life taps into a sun fear protector and soul fires away one minion, he could actually not survive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That didn't work out. Awesome. I was I was almost there, guys. So he can he can at least siphon soul, play his Earth and Ring Farsia, and soul fire away the Kokrano lead. Still, there is ten damage. Exactly ten damage. Sad phase OP for the Ute going to lose against MYM here. So that's going to be the 2-0 at the moment for MYM. Just going for the Gorhal, finishing the game. Not going for the Dream play early on. He just finishes with one Dream, so he's not like you, wasting all your Dreams on the battlefield. I'm, you, I'm, like, I'm not even sure if Kunzi just missed Lethal or went 